All right, so we're starting up the third round, and I'm a little sad about our last round, but you know things do happen. So uh, we'll try. We'll try harder this time. We'll try to draw the things that we need. How about that? How about that? Anyway, it's fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> Don't be tilted. It's all okay. Let Mark look at on one. Bleh. Bleh. That's a little bit gross. Why are their swamps cooler than my swamps? Oh, maybe they put this one in. Because aren't all the swamps that they give you these ones? Hmm. Maybe I'm playing too many vehicles. That could be a thing. With well fast engineer, that's nice though. Okay, so let's go sky skiff. And then next turn it's gonna be able to attack for four. Which is good, because we'll play the engineer out. Eh, we could also play the screecher out. No, let's play the engineer, I think. Yeah, that's fine. Roller maker, they're not doing anything super crazy over there. Lookout's pretty gross though. Being of combat of your turn. Okay. Not both turns. Okay. Implement. Whale. They're just not doing that much over there. Like, do I really care about this night market? Like, kind of. But attacking them for four in the air seems okay. And then we're going to get the, cr the Crusher going at some point, too. So that seems okay. But they do have the Poisoner, which is an issue. Hmm. <laughs> Interesting. Okay, so next turn we're probably dropping this creature. <sighs> and the implement, we could also play the crusher, but we need things to crew it. Okay, Thopter, sure. Eventually I'm going to have to leave stuff back to block. <laughs> I get that. But they don't have anything super big over there, so I think it's okay. Okay, Salvager is okay. So yeah, maybe I am supposed to be blocking stuff. Let's play... I wish I could do two things in that turn that I could do something with. Okay. Screecher, one, two, Screw like that. Attack for four, but they might just jump it. But they might just take it. They jumped. I can respect that, I guess. Maybe I should have played out Salvager, though, because we were going to crack the implement next turn. Hmm. But having a flyer out is fine, but they could just keep making infinite chumpers with their roller maker. Is that what they're going to do with their life? Sequestered stash. What? Okay. You don't see that every day. You do not see that every day. Okay. So what we really want to draw is a land. So we can do two things next turn. I think I have too many vehicles. I didn't really realize that until we got vehicle flooded. Um, we we're only playing four, which I think is okay, but that might be one too many. With the Wildfest Engineer, I'm, like, inclined to play them. Okay. Yeah, they should send the Poisoner, that's right. I'm not blocking that. No. No, thank you. Okay, land is cool. Okay, so, Salvager. <sighs> crack the Implement. And by crack, 
I mean like it to the salvager. Shana's revolution's nice. What do we even kill though? Like all their things are so little duperish. I mean, I'm not sending the screecher. Because they can just kill the screecher, so that's no good. Do I send the out engineer? They have to triple block it to kill it. That's probably okay. Sure. Like, I get that we're getting a lot of value out of it, but if they triple block it, I think we're happy. Because then they have, what, a whirler maker and a poisoner? That's fine. Okay, they're chomping. Okay, that's actually fine too. I think we're happy with them jumping. I think. I think. Roller Maker is interesting. I'm wondering like how they're trying to break this in their deck because it's just so slow. Uh, Fenholler? No, oh, no, they're just tapping to make a, another adopter. Okay, so we're going to do this for a while. Sure. Uh, I'm going to take one because I think Automaton is actually maybe going to be helpful at some point. They're still at 19. What the heck? What the actual heck? Well, if we Shonda's Revolution the Thopter, that feels really bad because they can make more Thopters, but it keeps them off green, and we're able to get through a lot of damage this turn. Does that matter? <sighs> I don't know. I'm going insane because this chump business is making me insane. I'm going insane. Is it worth jamming that much damage through? We can get through 7 in the air, so we put them to 12. We can get through with Salvager and Engineer as well, so they're probably going to go... They're probably going to take... No, I think we should probably save this for real threats. Let's just play the Crusher out. Uh, 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 uh. No, I don't think it's worth it. Like, it kind of feels like it might be, but I don't think it is. Because now we can go in with Skiff. This would just get us, like, one extra attacker with Screecher. But I don't think that's worth it at all. Holding them off green is appealing. But let's wait for, like, a bigger threat. Right? So I'm just putting Crusher out. Sure. And we can crew that. But we're not going to. I'm not blocking the Poisoner. I'm not doing it. I'm not blocking the Thopter either. And no. And no. No, thank you Oh, what's this? Okay. That sucks. That's going to be a 6-6 six, because six, they're going to sack the Thopter, right? Sure. Well, but now we get it in the air, so I don't... Is that right? <laughs> I mean, of course they don't know we have a re revolution in our hand, but... Okay, so let's say for like one second that I revolution the poisoner okay <sighs> then we're able to get in for a bunch in the air we can get in three four five six seven in the air we can send the crusher they're gonna block the crusher uh, uh, uh. Why do you 
have to have a six power fatty. I think we just send the flyers again. And I think we just chill out. Send the flyers and then like activate the welder automaton. Like let's not get complicated up in here. We can also just cast the fen holler, right? Six, seven, yeah, we can tap the crusher. That's probably fine. Uh, I have to double block the revolutionary if they attack, but that's, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with throwing the salvager and the fen holler in front of the revolutionary. And then that's dead. And then next turn we can win with the revolution, right? I think so. Because they just make a thopter. See, like, I don't even like this card, right? Like, it seems okay. I wish you could activate it more than once in a turn. Because then that would seems like it'd be insane. But no, that's not how the card works. Eight from the cow? Like, for real? What? What is happening? To me, this seems like somebody who's, like, kind of bored with the format. They're like, all right, let's see what we can do here. <laughs> Eight from the cow, whirler maker, and sequestered stash, and an ironclad revolutionary. There's this, some interesting choices, right? A night market lookout's like fine in the right deck. Okay, so they know they're dead next turn, that's fine. Unless this aid from the cow like does something real good for him, what is it gonna do? I mean, I guess I could have just chumped the revolutionary, honestly. If I didn't want their cow to trigger, but I'm I'm kind of curious. Like I'm gonna be honest here. Let's, I want to see this work. Ether poisoner. Okay, that's fine. They're dead. If it's a permanent, you get to put it on the battlefield. Yeah, whatever. No biggie. So I mean, we can kill them in like a bunch of ways, but why not? So let's crew. Let's not even crew. Whatever. They're at five. Let's just attack. Okay. They have no cards that will save them. Right? What saves them for one black? Nothing. Okay. I got paranoid for a second. I was like, wait, uh, what's happening here? They just knew they were dead to flyers. So they were like, what, whatever. Let's just go. I can respect that. Okay, so infestation on a whirler maker is kind of gross, but that's the only artifact we saw from them, right? Yeah, like I'm not bringing that in for just one artifact. I mean, as gross as that is for them. I just don't particularly care about that card. It's very slow. Yummy. Should I care about that card? <laughs> you guys can put that in the comments. Like, should I care about Whirler Maker? Is there a deck where it's like broken in? I'm not really sure. I don't think so. It's just so slow. Okay, cool. Yes, I will take two. That's fine. Uh, I think Sky's Give is fine. That's fine. And then next turn we can play Salvager. I eventually want a second mountain. Maybe I should have just played one more mountain. I feel like I'm always wanting a mountain in this deck. Okay, if you're just pumping Automaton, that's acceptable. Wrangle. Cool. Wrangle's cool. So whatever they play, I'm probably going to take it, crew with it, and eat it. Nom, 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 nom. <laughs> uh, oh, Salvager. This might be my favorite card. It's so fun. 
You cannot win by just pumping automaton. I'm telling you that right now. It's not going to get you far, guy. Or girl. Whoever you are, it's not going to get you far. I'm a poet. Okay. Well. Yeah. Get over here. Get over here. Crew my sky's gift. Crew him. Sacrifice. Your sacrifice makes me bigger. Okay. And now we're all caught up on damage. Cool. And they no longer have their automaton. God, this card is fun. I have too much fun with this card. Way too much fun. I was like, Wrangle? Who would ever play that? Oh, wait. This deck wants it. <laughs> now, if you just have one Salvager, it's like probably not as good, but we have three, so it's like we're... Oh, you're getting back an automaton? For real? Okay. I mean, I just don't particularly care about it, do I? Not really. Like, we can go for ma finality it, but I think that's just, like, mean. Like, why <laughs> why even bother? They just got it back. They used all their resources on this automaton. That'd be, like, rude to cruel finality it. Like, they're not gonna do 13 damage with it, right? No way. Oh. Are they doing that just to get counters on it? If I get a mountain, they're gonna be a sad person. So now I guess they're like, should I eat this? And then they're like, okay. If we get a mountain, that's just super sad. And I feel sad. Mountain, though? I like it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> like, not gonna lie. Uh, I want it. Uh, yeah, sure. Yeah, I'll cast it. Why not? Uh, and then we can crew at this. Okay. And then we can um, attack them for a lot. <laughs> okay, um, well, the, uh, the opponent didn't really do very much, so that was not super crazy, and our deck actually worked the way it was supposed to. I feel like if it would have worked better the second round, we would have just been a happy air camper, but that's fine. The deck was fun. Going 2-1 and one is, like, absolutely fine. I accept I just feel bad because I've been crushing so hard and I can't get you guys a 3-0. Like when I record it, I can't get a 3-0 to save my life. When I stream, good God, I've been getting lots and lots of 3-0s. Yeah, so come hang out at, on Twitch sometime if you want to. Uh, tell me you've been watching the videos because I love to hear that. Even if you don't like them, you're allowed to say that. Um, just come say hi. Twitch.tv slash Jamie Topples. Uh, we have lots of fun. And uh, you'll see some more wrangling and crushing there because I do love me some wrangle interactus is my fave so all right well thank you so much for watching I really do appreciate you guys being here guys and gals people you are all amazing I love you all and uh hope you have a lovely day thanks so much